and it is a wonderful, beautiful, great morning here in my garage. We got both my 69 Corvairs in here, which has never been done at the same time before, so that's exciting. Um, yesterday, and in the previous video, my dad and I removed the engine. Uh, it is a two-speed power glide, just a 110, pretty base model engine. Uh, it is unfortunately locked up. We did try breaking it free. We've been pouring stuff down the cylinders for the past 10 years, and sometimes they're just locked up. So I don't want to see any comments about pour this down the cylinder or pour this down the cylinder. We tried, okay? But I appreciate your suggestions. So we uh, we we just picked this bad boy up. Uh, it's a telehandler. We just picked up a telehandler. Um, I'm hiding the company's phone number because I don't want to have anyone prank calling them, I guess. So uh, we got a telehandler. So and then we're going to move it outside and then uh, and then we're going to start some crazy stuff going on. So uh, it's really early in the morning. We had to pick up that telehandler pretty early. So I'm going to go and eat some breakfast and then um, and then I don't know what we do next. I, you know, I, I don't know what we are doing next. Cutting up this car, that's why I can tell you what we're doing next. Okay, so we got the car out of the garage now. Uh, kind of a little sketchy, um, especially when you see how far cambered in the rear wheels <laughs> because of my dad's um, genius way to hold the drive shafts together. We got a long 4x4 metal piece duct taped together, and then the control arms are screwed to that 2x6. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, so that was fun, but we got it out looking really good we're going to start cutting some stuff this is just going to be a cutting video getting everything figured out and then the s10 is parked behind there and when that's ready to go we're gonna probably drive it under in the next video i don't know we have my brother here so it's just us three and we're ready to start cutting some stuff up okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start with disassembling the front end a lot of this is going to get cut um but some of this we need to save like the wiring harness um so it's connected the clip is inside, so we're going to take off the front end of the headlight, maybe even take the buckets out, um, and we're going to run the buckets in the S10, I'll explain that later, um, and then just a lot of this other crap that isn't really worth anything, I don't think, but we're still going to save, try to get out in one piece. Um, so, just some Phillips screws on the front here. There's three that holds it in, but I only have two installed, it looks like. So now there's a bunch of bolts here that uh, unscrew and then the bucket will just pull right out. So we might be able to take out both buckets with the wiring harness in uh, intact. So let's do that quick. All right, so just as I suspected, the bolts here were a 5 16 head bolt. Uh, so we just took the bucket out all as one instead of disconnecting it. So my brother is taking off the bezel. Um, we have a bag here so you really want to make sure that you're organized because we're going to use all this old hardware so now that bezel is off there's just a couple of um, 5 16 and then I believe this is butyl tape so it's really glued in there so just something to look out for very inconvenient because it never dries so yes I can so while he takes that out I think I'm gonna get some uh, box wrenches and take off the brake uh, line connectors there probably here and just take the rest of that off. All right, so it's a little crusty. There's a mouse nest in there. That's awesome. Uh, but we got the headlight buckets out, so we're gonna remove that all as one, um, and then just keep disassembling crap. It's sprinkling, which is rather unfortunate, but that's not gonna slow us down. Yeah. All right, so we got the uh, telehandler here, and we're just gonna test fit, make sure the forks are long enough because we have a feeling they might be a little short. Check, make sure you're watching here. You good? Down, okay, good. That is not gonna reach all the way through. All right, I'll let you know when it's up. Nate, you watching that? All right, she's up. All four wheels are off the ground. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> 
Uh, there should be one. So we're going to start moving fast because we're going to keep that running while we're under it just in case. So uh, we are going to drop the front suspension and, uh, and yeah, that's basically that. So enjoy. All right. So this is very sketchy. We saved the, the steering box because somebody wants to buy that. And we were like, I'm not going to fight any of this. Um, so we're getting ready to drop this. One of the bolts is stuck. Um, and then I'm here to cut brake lines. Attempt to. All right, so if that doesn't work, then, then you get something like this. All right, all right. The less I'm under here, the better I feel. All right, so now that everything is disconnected, including the speedometer cable, everything's loose, we're gonna lower her down get the front suspension out of there and then um, and then do whatever's next. Last one. Hold on, I gotta document this. All right, technically, it should have dropped. If you notice, uh, kind of. They welded the suspension to the uh, frame, frame rails on both sides. So it won't drop down. That's cool. Is it free on that side? Yeah. Lizzie? Okay. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, they're good. Leave them. Oh, that is a wild. Wow. It's like a model car. So we got the front end out, gas tank out. Right now we're gonna take out the rest of the rear end. So we're gonna set it down. We don't have any spring compressors. Whoa. Now that's on the ground. We're going to disconnect the shocks. Looks like there's two bolts. I've been letting them soak for about a year and a half now. No, not that's a lie, about a year. Um, and then once that's disconnected, we're gonna slowly raise it and let the sh um, springs decompress. Um, because we don't want that hurting anyone or anything. So it's just barely sitting on the ground right now. How um, size is this? I do not. Probably a half inch, I bet. Six feet. Bet you it's a half inch. Oh. I retract my previous statement. You're good. Ah, okay. Stop. Oh, okay. There was, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> okay, and then I believe there's two underneath that as well. It's gonna fall on my face? Um, hopefully not, just watch your toes. <laughs> Doubt it too. All right, and this is how you drop the suspension. Uh, uh, second gen Corvette. <laughs> And it's out! <laughs> Just kidding, we gotta cut the emergency brake cable yet, and then it will be out. It's free! How are we rolling that out? I don't know. Thought we would put our heads together and think of it. So Look at you. Grab a shock, homie. One Corvair rear end, who wants it? You can have it. Except you can't have my 4 by 4 And you can't have the wheels, even though they're dry rotted. I 
kind of dig the small wheels on this. Wow, look at that. That is so cool. Let me get a picture of that. All right, Dad, what's next? All right, now we start cutting. Got that column you gotta get out. Yep, we gotta get the column out. So we should cut out the trunk floor because the bolts to the steering box sheared off. So we're gonna cut Cut all that that you need. Mm -hmm. I think we should leave the frame rails for now because the fronts are solid. So I'm like, if we could put a body mount on the front frame rails to the front of the bumper mount. Yeah, I would cut across here. For right now, let's just cut the trunk floor out. Okay, so my brother is here disconnecting some stuff over there. Uh, we're gonna start cutting the floor out, the trunk floor. A lot of this is gonna have to get cut out. What gets cut out exactly, we're not sure. So we're gonna take it step by step. Um, we need to get the steering box out and the steering wheel sh um, column, get that out. And then we're gonna save the frame rails as well. Um, so yeah, I think uh, we'll just start cutting. <laughs> Okay, so we finally shut the uh, telehandler off. We just got done eating. Um, my dad started cutting the firewall out and I was like, wait, no, I need to film this. I need to update the people. Um, looks like he cut a lot out. Hold on, I got my uh, phone charging solar panel out here so my phone doesn't die, because that would suck. But just about all of this has to come out, including the frame rails. Is what's left of the floor. Um, so we're gonna. I'm gonna. So here's here's what we got. We got some two by sixes, some old heavy duty, and then some foam. Uh, do, the roof doesn't look like it's affected or anything. Uh, we're still being careful, trying not to open up the doors just in case. But there's the inside. My dad did all this. Um, still got a lot of cutting to do along here. Guess I should film that. Um, we're not going to cut too much of this because we want to retain this. Um, I do know for a fact that this is going to have to be modified because of the uh, S10 frame rails are basically going to go right through the seat. So the back seat is going to be modified pretty heavily. Um, so yeah. But other than that, a lot more cutting. Got to get that steering wheel shaft out of there. Some stuff that we can save and then the rest of it can just drop right out. Another thing we got to do is I don't want to take off the roof or the hood. Don't want to take that off, but we need to take this off to access the torsion bars because that has to get removed as well. But other than that, making progress. Do you have any five sixteenths? Uh, what is this? Oh, there we go. All right, well, my dad is cutting out the rest of the floor firewall. Nathan and I are back here removing brake lines, this old heater or fan box, whatever it is, pretty crusty, uh, and just a, anything else that really needs to be removed. So, update, uh, we cut a lot of it out, uh, and by we, I mean my dad, he's cut most of this out. Uh, a lot of the floors, most of the floor, he started cutting on the rockers in there, um, just because of how that we measured everything. Ooh. So, watch your head. And then, if you want to show in here, he cut the underside of this. We want to see if we can keep the torsion bars set up for now. Um, I do have a cool hood idea planned, so that won't be forever. But just for now, to keep the torsion bars in the hood there. Um, watch your head. And then, we brought the S10 up here so we could kind of measure some stuff out. It's really hard to see, um, just eyeing it, going back and forth. So what we really want to do is cut as much out as the Corvair possible and then back the truck up underneath and as my brother suggested lower the car measure lower cut just kind of lower it um so we've concluded that basically the entire both wheel wells are going to have to go and as a matter of fact this one is holding on for dear life if you can yeah you can see that there so 
both wheel wells are basically going to have to go and then um, as much as I don't want to, the valance panel down here might also have to um, go, but you know, sacrifices. So that's, that's basically that. Uh, I don't know what the next step is. I think we need to cut the inner rockers out, um, which is again what my dad's been doing. And then, um, and then maybe just kind of cut out some wheel wells. I don't know. All right, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Isn't that just dirt? Compost. Yeah, it's shredded leaves. It's That's leaves, basically yeah. basically what compost is. Yeah, because there's a hole Dang, right son. there. What? Oh, man. That's okay. Yeah, this side isn't even any better. I'm surprised this that wasn't side full was of... Worse. We already took a bunch of it out. That's what all Oh, that's out. true. Dang, that is... Not good. Not nice. Hey, what is this thing? That's sound deadening. Oh, what? All right, so it looks like someone may have replaced, put some putty down there back in the day. What do you think, Dad? <laughs> I think they did a wonderful job. I, I love it. Where was the Maybe other place? more holes, but right there. Like yeah, that. I probably would have gone with some more holes. So here's the problem we're running into is the rockers go down like that, which is, you know, fine down there, but the dash is kind of cramping our style. So we will have to cut, obviously, a lot more out. There's one other thing we can do is pull this ahead to here, lower it, and then push the body back into it, see how it lines up. Okay, but... Well, I like the sounds of doing We're gonna watch Nathan because it's fine. Okay, how about some clearance here? Don't get under it. Okay, so as you saw when we were lowering it, the rockers were dangerously close to the seats, and we didn't want the rockers basically like flaying, flaying the edges of the seats, and we were like, it's getting late dark out and mosquitoes are eating us alive so i'm gonna make this quick myself so um unfortunately this is the end for the video because this video was really just going to be tearing apart the corvair we were just going to test fit it for fun we already know we have a whole heck of a lot more cutting to do um so but let me let me show you because if anyone is interested in doing anything like this i won't be able to offer you the most accurate measurements but 
take a good look because you're gonna have to cut all of that. Look at that, that's the bottom of the torsion bars, windshield wiper mechanisms. All of that's cut right there. See how we filleted the rockers? So it's, we had to cut a lot out. Same with the uh, inside the trunk here. The, um, we, we were test fitting it, as you just saw, the wheel wells are mainly gonna have to get all cut away. Like there's not gonna be much left of the original wheel well, um, which is okay, cause we're gonna use the S10 wheel wells. Um, and then here, let me quick pull this up so you can see where we had to cut, you saw that. We ended up basically cutting the rest of that flush. Uh, and then we might have to do some more cutting. It's it's a lot of cutting, so make sure that if you're doing this, you have a lot of cutoff wheels and sawzall blades. Because we went through a lot, and we have quite the scrap pile. Um, so yeah. Giving you guys a good look there, so you can see. Um, and don't open up the doors because then you'll really screw yourself. But it looks cool, as I told my dad, it looks like a, uh, a fisher body when they finish the bodies to be lowered down the assembly line. It looks like a fisher body coming down. So dad, how, many, how, much, how much do you think, how much weight in pounds do you think we cut out today? Including everything, the rear end there. Oh, probably put 350. Including the rear end here? And the front end? 350 to 400. I'm gonna say 500. Because mm -hmm. the trunk floor, the front suspension, the rear suspension. Oh, it doesn't weigh a lot. That's true. Okay, so my dad thinks 400 pounds. But oh man, that is such. That's so cool. So, with that being said, we are gonna end the video. Unfortunately, I had a lot of fun today. My brother and my dad all had a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait to edit this video. Uh, it's going to be awesome. Uh, when this video comes out, I'm not sure. But the next video is going to start being filmed immediately tomorrow. We're going to cut some more out and start tacking some stuff up. So please remember to like the video, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. You know the drill. And we will see you in the next video.